Stay all day. Stay all day. Ball overseas, the overseas basketball blueprint. Today I want to talk about what you're going to do after basketball or what you could be doing outside of basketball, outside of slash after basketball. Because this is what we're really talking about is career things here because everyone who is watching this, I don't care if you're 19 just getting started or you're 39 and you're looking at the end of the road, at some point basketball is going to be over. As far as playing basketball, at some point it's going to be over for you. All right, nobody's going to be a basketball player forever. One day you got to hang up your shoes whether you choose to or you get a torn Achilles or a broken knee or something happens to your body because your body can't recover the same way it used to, can't move the same way it used to, and the game lets you know that it is over. One day it's going to be done, right? So what are you going to do when basketball is over? And one thing that I did that you know, people see what I've done, they say, they compliment me, say you've done you know, successfully is transitioning from playing sports to being in the business world. And for those who don't really know anything about me outside of these videos is that I'm a full-time entrepreneur, CEO, owner of my company called Work On Your Game Incorporated. And what we focus on is taking the mental tools necessary to succeed in sports and teach how they apply in the business world. And it goes a lot deeper than that, but if you know more about me, then you'll understand a little bit better, but we'll just keep it as simple as that for the purpose of this conversation. But to figure out or to actually do the transition from playing into doing something else, I wanna be clear what I wanna talk about here today is if you wanna do something other than the you know, quote unquote traditional transitions that I see a lot of athletes do. What I see many athletes do when they get done playing their sport, they either become a trainer in the sport or they become a coach in the sport. Now listen, basketball will always need trainers and coaches because there will always be more players coming up. There's always gonna be, a, every time there's a wave of players who go out, there's a new wave of players coming in. And those players need training because they need to know how to work on their games and how to get better. And those players need coaches because when they play on teams, somebody's gotta organize them and tell them what they're doing wrong and show them how to get better and you know, do all the X's and O's and all that. We will always need trainers, we'll always need coaches. So if you want to go the trainer or the coach route, I'm not, I can't really help you with that because I don't know the training or the coaching world. I never was a basketball trainer. I've done some training and charged people for it, but I've never been a full-time trainer. I've never been a full-time coach. I've never been even a part-time coach. I've never been interested in coaching, but I know people who are coaches. So if you want to get into either of those, I know people who do that and I can point you to some resources. I actually got videos where I talk to those people if you want to watch them yourself. But if you want to do something other than that, you want to come out of sports and you want to do something that's not sports related. Let's say if you want to become an agent or you want to become a CEO of a company or you want to work with people who are not even athletes and you want to give them value because you feel like you have something you can give the world that has that is not directly related to the fact that you play the sport. There is a certain process that you have to follow. Now, while there are many different industries you can get into, many different businesses you can do, what I want to do here is just give you a general, some general overall points that you're going to need to understand when you're transitioning from the sports world into the business world. The first one is understand that the game is over. I'm talking about the sports game. When you're done playing your sport, you need to be mentally and emotionally as well as physically done with the game. You got to be done on the, the playing mindset of you're going to you know, beat somebody on the court or dunk on somebody or cross somebody over. You got to be ready to say mentally and emotionally, all right, I'm done with that. It's over. I did what I did in basketball. Now it's time for me to move on to the rest of my life. If you can't mentally get to that space, you'll never be able to fully jump in 10 toes deep into anything else. So the first step is just knowing that it's over. Second one is figuring out what exactly you want to do. I mean, it's, it's a pretty good question to ask, right? What exactly am I going to do? I'm not going to play football or basketball or baseball anymore. What am I going to do? For me, I happen to be, I guess you could call it somewhat lucky, but also somewhat skilled in that what I was doing already in the, when I was posting videos on a site like YouTube, I was doing a weekly motivation video every Monday. Some of you who've been around might remember those, but I was talking about this mindset stuff. A lot of the stuff that I talk about to this very day, some of it was, a lot of it came from my thoughts on sports, but a lot of it applied not only in sports, but it applied to everyday life. So a lot of people who didn't play sports were already following me and already knew of me and already were buying stuff from me, even though they didn't play basketball because the stuff that I was talking about applied to anybody. It applied for somebody who worked in an office building or somebody who was an entrepreneur, somebody who never played a sport, don't even go to the gym. So I already had a, a transition period while I was still playing, working in my favor. So you need to ask yourself, and now actually let me back up. While I was doing those things, I also had the seed in my mind planted to know 
I had to have thought about this. I put some time into this, asking myself, how can I take these things that I'm talking about that athletes like and that these people who don't play sports, they like it, but how can I make money from it? How can I make a business out of it? How am I gonna, how am I actually gonna provide value for the world and for myself through doing these things? It's one thing to make a YouTube video, it's another thing to own a business. Those are two different things. So I had to figure out what was the process gonna be for that. And there's a process that needs to be gone through for that to happen. So the question you gotta ask yourself first is, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna provide value to the world if I'm not playing my sport anymore? That's the first question. And that may take some time for you to get that answer. You may need to do some exploring. You might need to talk to a lot of people, but you need to figure out what that answer is. Then the next thing you gotta understand is that there is a period that you're gonna have to go through because you're starting from zero. You're starting from scratch. The same way that if somebody who works in an office building decides to become a basketball player and they just walk in the gym and they think they're gonna be somebody that first day, you'd be looking at them crazy, right? Well, that's how somebody might be looking at you if you have been playing basketball for the last 12 years, now you don't want to play ball no more. You want to walk into some business business room, some uh, boardroom, and all of a sudden be somebody in there because you play basketball. Like All those people that you've been walking into that room with, they've been doing business every day while you've been playing ball every day. So they got a lot more experience than you. They got a lot more knowledge than you. They know the game a lot better than you. So you're starting at zero. You got to understand that you have to, again, mentally and emotionally understand you're starting at zero and you got to be humble enough to know look i got to learn here i got to do the i got to do the groundwork i got to get the fundamentals in i got to understand how this profession works how this industry works how this business works and i got to build my way up from zero the same way you built yourself up playing ball even though you might have been seven years old when you started playing ball you had to build yourself up you got to do the same thing now even though now you're 27 or 34 you got to do the exact same thing you got to build yourself up from zero and the last thing i'll tell you is that you got to be disciplined enough to do that work all right understanding it and actually applying it are two different things because a lot of people say they understand stuff and they don't actually go do it listen if everybody understood everything that i talked about when it came to overseas basketball listen i would have wrote this book and i wouldn't even be making i wouldn't even be doing this right now i wouldn't even have to talk about this because i talked about all these things before most of the things that i talk about I have talked about in some way, shape, or form before, but people are like, well, can you make a new version? Can you talk about it again? Yeah, you talked about it, but that's old. You did it six months ago. You did it six years ago. Can you talk about it again? Or I get somebody asking the question who don't want to go look for something else. They want something new. Listen, most information in life is not new. All right, there is new information coming out there, but most of it ain't new. Most of it is just repackaged or is a new way of saying the same thing they got said before. Now, a new way can be valuable, but understand, if you just go look back at information that's already been out, you get everything that you need to know. The challenge for most people is what they do. It's not knowing stuff, it's doing stuff. So the challenge for you is understanding, again, going back to what I'm saying, be humble enough to understand that you're starting from zero and you gotta put that time in. Same way it took you years to become somebody in sports, it's gonna take you some time to become somebody in business, somebody in a profession, somebody in a certain industry. Now you might hit the ground running and get some early success. I did when I was in business, but there also been periods where I'm like, all right, I got to put the time in here because I haven't put that, I haven't paid my dues the way these other people have. I don't have the information that they have. I don't have the knowledge they have. I don't have the experience they have. And there's no substitute for that. It's just like playing ball. There's no substitute for playing in games and you know, being out there on that court against other people who can play and learning. Ain't no substitute for that. All right, you can't get that through watching. You can't get that through hiring a trainer. You can't get that through looking at YouTube videos or standing next to somebody who did it. You got to be out there being the one who's doing it. It's the same thing in the business world. So understand if you're going to make that transition from business, from sports to business, at some point you're going to need to make that transition. Even if your business is not as an owner, even if you want to get a job, even if you want to be a coach, you want to be a trainer, something that you do, you got to learn what's going on over there because you're playing ball. You don't know what's going on. One thing that I would suggest to you athletes, since we do have more downtime than the average professional, is that you start thinking about, at least when you start looking at the end of your career, what am I going to do next? And start thinking about uh, what information do I need to get? Who, who knows what I don't know? Who can I go talk to? Who can mentor me? Who can direct me to some books that I can read or some videos I can watch or some podcasts I can listen to that'll give me some information about what I'm thinking about doing next? It might not be the thing you want to do once you really find out what's really going on. You might say, you know what? I don't want to do that. I want to do something different. But you got to get the information. You won't know that it's not what you want until you get the information. So make sure you're doing that. Have the discipline to go into these things and really put some serious thought in this because we're talking about your life here. This is not one game does not know a book that you read and throw away this is your life and we're talking about the second half of your life you might be 25 done playing basketball now you got another 50 years to live 
you should probably put some time into what you're going to be doing with that 50 years. Doesn't that just make sense to you? I think so. All that being said, you do not yet have your free copy of this book called The Overseas Basketball Blueprint. Go to balloverseas.com, put your shipping information in, and we'll ship this book to you free worldwide. The book is already paid for. All you do is cover a small shipping charge. We ship this to you anywhere that you live. Balloverseas.com. Work on your game. Dre, all, yeah.